FP3 2015. So we start with cos x, which is 1 half e to the x plus e to the minus x, and sans x, which is 1 half e to the x minus e to the minus x. So if y equaled tangent to the minus 1 of x, then the tangent of y equals x. Tangent we know is over cosh. Substituting in, the halves will cancel and we have e to the y minus e to the minus y all over e to the y plus e to the minus y. So e to the y minus 1 over e to the y equals x upon e to the y plus 1 over e to the y. So I'm going to multiply everything by e to the y. e to the 2y minus 1 equals x e to the 2y plus x. So we have x e to the 2y minus e to the 2y equals minus x minus 1. e to the 2y upon x minus 1 equals minus x plus 1. So e to the 2y equals minus x plus 1 all over x minus 1 which is x plus 1 all over 1 minus x. To finish this, we're going to take our equation and rewrite it as a log. So 2y equals the natural log of x plus 1 over 1 minus x. y equals 1 half log to base a of x plus 1 over 1 minus x. And we started by saying that y was the inverse function. I'm going to start by trying to solve them as simultaneous equations. We're going to multiply the first one by 2. Write the second underneath. And we're going to subtract. Got to be careful of their signs here. Minus 4, minus 5, minus, minus 5 is 4, minus 4 plus 5, so that is 1. And 2 minus minus 1 is 3. And we know that cos is 1 over hyperbolic of tan. So we have that. And y is the inverse of one third. Using our answer to part one, we have one half ln one plus x divided by one minus x. So that's one half ln two. If I go back to my first formula, I had that the sanch of x minus 2 over tan equals 1. And we know that tan, that the tanch of y is 1 third. That tells me that tangent of x equals 7, so 1 half e to the x minus e to the minus x equals 7. So e to the x minus 1 over e to the x equals 14. Multiplying through by e to the x, we get e to the 2x minus 1 equals 14 e to the x. e to the 2x minus 14 e to the x minus 1 equals 0. 
So a to the x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So that's 14 plus or minus root 200 all over 2. So that's 7 plus or minus root 50. So we have that e to the x equals 7 plus root 50. So we always take the positive. So x is the natural log of 7 plus root 50. You can see in the mark scheme here in part 2, they have use simultaneous equations again to get to the Sanchez x equals 7 and they have done something that I've forgotten to do which is simplify my third and I had root 50 which is the square root of 25 times 2 so I should have simplified that to 5 root 2.